maybe we shouldn't call it transitions yeah. and it's just life life. <laughs> <laughs> life is just lifing life is lifing life has been lifing and dan dun, 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 dun. the most exciting announcement first thing that we're gonna launch yes should we just say it yes <laughs> should we just show it yes you may want to turn on video ready <laughs> three two one Welcome back to Voice Hugs, a podcast about being your best self and embracing all seasons of life with open arms. This is your host, Vivian and Rowena. You used your first name, so I use my first name. <laughs> Guys, it's been so long. So long. Oh my gosh. Welcome to season two, our first episode. It's been quite a long time. It's been, um, well, our last episode we published was on December 6th. A full seven months have passed. That's a long time. A whole season has been lived. Many seasons. I know. It feels like multiple lifetimes. And actually, two, three seasons have passed of like the real seasonal changes of oh, seasons. Oh, yeah, you're right. There was fall, winter. <laughs> No, Wait, it's summer. summer. It's summer. Spring. 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 <laughs> summer. I blacked out during spring, so there we go. It's okay. We also have two brain cells <laughs> between the two of us right now. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. We are so happy to be back. For season two, we have so many things that are in the works, planned, ready to go. And today, we're going to talk about all of that. We're going to go in detail for what you can expect for season two. We're obviously going to share a bit more of what we went through in the past seven months. Some life updates. So it has been a very, very long time. We're both very excited to catch up on the podcast. We've done catching up in person, offline, obviously, but it's just it hits different when it's on the potty. And we will have some exciting announcements before we talk about all the amazing things that are going to be coming for season two. We're finally going to talk about our voice hugs shop launch and share the products that we've come up with she with you guys today. Finally upon us. Yes. So excited. Eee. They're so cute. How we doing? Ready? <laughs> we ready. Let's go. Life updates. Ro, fill me in. What's been new? <laughs> I think I'm going through it. Mm. And I think I've been going through it for some time. Life has been lifing Life once again. Life has definitely been lifing, yes. And if you follow any of my content platform channels, including voice hugs, there may or may not be a reason why there hasn't been any videos. And I think for a while I was getting really hard on myself being like, you know, this is literally your job. Like, why are you not doing your job? And I think it wasn't until quite literally yesterday where I made a little breakthrough where I was like, you know, my channel really is about like sharing lived experience. And if I don't have lived experience, there's not much to share. And maybe that's okay. Because mm -hmm. I feel like it's easy to demand things from yourself. It's easy to want things from yourself. And it's easy to see what other people are doing and how well they're doing and how they keep going. Even in the face of challenges, like it seems like these, they're still going. But I think there's also power and courage in taking a step back and acknowledging the fact that I do feel quite lost mm -hmm. and that it's okay. And, you know, within this feeling of lostness there's also there's like some guilt you know because a lot of people I'm sure we can all relate it's like you know we have a roof over our head we have food in our stomachs we have access to these things we have people who love us like why do I feel lost like it feels kind of ungrateful and I think I'm just trying to remind myself that you know I actually watched a YouTube video on this and it actually helped a lot mm. this coach guy was just talking about how being lost is actually a great thing because to be lost means you want more or it means you want something else and to want more to want something else means you are growing and you're going in like a new direction maybe and whenever change happens as we know it's difficult it's hard there's going to be it's going to be turbulent but it's this desire that you want to improve that is driving you which can be a great thing. And then I was just reflecting back on, you know, in college when I was really lost, like it took me two, three, four years to really find my bearings and move on to this new phase of my life, move to New York, start YouTube. And I did ride that way for 
maybe like another five, six years. And I think it's normal to arrive at a place now to feel the way that I feel. It's going to take another probably two, three years for me to figure out the next thing as I continue to chip away at it, though. Like, I'm not going to go offline fully and just disappear. <laughs> but I kind of did that for the we past few not. months. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I, I've been. Mm, I think feeling lost, it's an uncomfortable feeling because it, it feels like you don't have a sense of direction. And I think we like to know where we're going. We like to have clear expectations. And I think part of also getting older, you know, you have this expectation that, okay, it, it feels normal to be lost when you're in college or in, in younger years, you know, you're still self-discovering. But I think what we've realized as we continued living is that <laughs> it doesn't stop, right? Like yeah. the self-discovery doesn't stop. Feeling lost never stops. And a lot of times I think these periods in our life, feeling lost, feeling unmotivated, feeling stuck, all of these feelings or seasons, it's really trying to communicate something to you, whatever life or era that you just stepped out of it's no longer aligned or perhaps like authentic to you and so it doesn't make sense there's like some <laughs> conflict inside that's not allowing you to work the same way you used to yeah. or produce the same type of things that you used to be able to produce on the fly yeah. create the content that you used to be you know yeah <laughs> worked for that period of your life and it just sounds like I think a lot of people can relate where we go through these transitional periods and taking a moment to take that step back is really important I feel like transitional periods are very relatable but it's also very like how long are you going to be in transition for? Because we've talked about transition since the move, like the move was a transition, right. the moving in with partners, a transition. Now it's like another big life transition. It's like, maybe we shouldn't call it transitions. Yeah. And it's just life. life. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what's happening in life right yes. now. There's movement, there's change. Mm -hmm. We are in a season of not transition. <laughs> life is just lifing. Life is lifing. Life has been lifing. Mm. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. And I think, um, honestly, having friends like you to oh. just talk to and share with means a lot. Like, even yesterday, we we're prepping for this episode, and it was like, How are you doing? And I'm like, I'm great. And then, blah, blah, blah. We talk, and I'm like, Yeah, I actually just cried <laughs> for like 30 minutes really hard. And she's like, Oh my God, what happened? And then we talked about it. And then, yeah, I was listening to another podcast with Simon Sinek and Steve Bartlett, the diary of a CEO. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then he was talking about how he has so many friends that he can call when something's wrong, but when something's going wrong well for him like when you win an award or when you you know get the scholarship or when something good happens to you who can you actually tell without feeling like you're bragging or whatever yeah and I know even though I told you like a sad thing of like me crying <laughs> but I feel like you're also one of those friends who like as I was listening to the podcast I was like I can tell this yeah. she'd be so happy for me and I think it's one of those it's one of those relationships and one of those friendships and one of those moments where I don't know. It's like I just I cherish this so much. Aww, I feel very grateful hey. to you. <laughs> We're in our words of affirmation era. Wee! <laughs> it was a muscle that we had to work on. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud that of comes you. Comes so naturally. Yeah, I love it. I'm happy for us. Yeah. <laughs> so within the past seven months, you have moved home. Like the last we've heard on the potty, you moved home. Mm hmm. How has that transition been? Where are you now? <sighs> I'm going to sit back. <laughs> As I've mentioned, I kind of blacked out the last last few months. Um, just kidding. But real talk. She's I, not. <laughs> I moved home to live with my parents. I, I kind of hinted throughout last season what was going on in my personal life and, and to kind of just wrap it up in one sentence my stepdad got sick and because he got sick 24-hour supervision which really impacted my mom and so deciding to move home with my partner at the end of my lease 
it was a hard but like simple decision hard in the sense that I knew living at home being under the same roof seeing my stepdad in his condition and then also having tried so hard in my 20s to find my independence and my voice now being back in that childhood environment it's just tough so that was like the hard part but the simple part was you know my parents need me and I think we're in this little cushion of time where we don't have kids yet we can give that time and energy to our parents and so that was an easy decision for both of us to be like hey let's move home let's help out the fam for a bit but it has not been easy it has been very 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 hard however um (laughs) you're so cute (laughs) a lot of the good things have come from it moving home this time in my early 30s, I really put to test everything that I learned in my 20s. All the care team stuff that we preached, all the, you know, like mindset habits, unlearning thought patterns. This was the ultimate test. I know you talked about this before where it's so much easier for us to move to a secluded place in the mountains and live a very peaceful life, you know, practice, what is it called? Like, you know, just being calm. Just being us, just yeah. like figuring out who you are and living the life you want to live. Yeah, and it's not until you put yourself back into an environment where everything is testing you. <laughs> You're even testing yourself. <laughs> I, I was, I was like, Vivian, let's do an experiment this year <laughs> and move home. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I I think like I wouldn't have been able to talk about it this way any sooner. But now that seven months has passed, the transition has happened. um, There are a lot of things that I'm grateful for and a lot of things that I feel very proud of. Just being able to see myself put the things in action, put the things in practice. I think, you know, it was really dark, blacked out and then the july summer sun came out and now i see light and <laughs> she loves summer i mean we all love summer but they love I summer i love summer yeah you know part of it was probably seasonal depression too maybe so you're feeling better i'm feeling better so much better what helped you unblock out oh man that's a big <laughs> question i feel like if i can answer that <laughs> concisely it's like you asking me how do you unloss yourself (laughs) we would be rich (laughs) we knew the answers to this um it was very gradual and I think a lot of compassion for yourself that was something that I had to practice it's again that voice internally and I think even in what you shared you were lost before and you're lost again, but understanding or finding those resources like the podcast or like the coach that you found to remind you, hey, maybe this is actually a good thing. Maybe this is going to teach you something. Maybe this is helping you build that muscle and having hope and faith in like a brighter future, like knowing things can change overnight, knowing things can change in a month or in two months um, and holding on to that, reaching out to friends, crying to friends. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> hair keeps getting like one strand of hair. So I, I'm fixing it for those who are just listening. You can watch us if you want. Pop open Spotify or we'll hopefully upload these on YouTube as well. Yay. Um, as you're saying everything especially like the how did you own blackout it's also being where you are now kind of in a similar situation as maybe when you first moved home closer to Mm mid-20s i think we can also see you know how like when i'm me being lost now versus me being lost in college it's like we're very very different people and the tools and the resources and the care teams that we have access to now and just the way that our brains are wired and that we've tried to rewire over the past few years, I think that also gives me and I think hopefully you um, reassurance in a way that we might still be like going through some of the emotions that we used to go through, but we're much different people. And that in and of itself is worth being proud of yeah i also got a dog we have got another dog (laughs) it's kind of funny because when i got my first dog i also just moved home so that oh yeah i just moved home i think i was in a panic and i was like oh my gosh i need emotional support (laughs) and i got charlie within 72 hours when we were moving home 
this last time, seven months ago, literally in a span of a week, I was like, we are getting a second dog. You're going to fly on an airplane, go pick him up, and we're going to have him before Christmas. It was like a very spontaneous decision. But going back to what you're saying, it's so interesting how our habits and way of coping just run so deep. Like I wasn't even aware how much anxiety and how much emotional support I felt like I needed to make that kind of spontaneous decision it was so spontaneous she texted me she's like i think i'm gonna get a second dog or like i'm thinking and i was like okay and then the next day i got the dog i'm like okay everyone was <laughs> shocked like not a single person was like actually there are a few people who thought it was a good idea but everyone else was like are you sure because you're gonna have a lot of change coming but it was a blessing it was yes, an absolute blessing it was he was meant to be a part of the family he was meant to be her dog <laughs> yes he is obsessed with me he is in love with me mommy is my whole heart that's how Aww. i feel when i I'm around Louis, so he's been so great, and that was probably one of the best things of this year too. Aww. Yeah, dogs are the best. Dogs are the best, and it's so cute. So James and I had dinner with Viv and her boyfriend, and our friends have dogs too. But then it's like it's like you're you both like you know like I'm I'm just so excited to go home and see the dogs, <laughs> and we're like wow that is actually so sweet and then while both of you guys like we were just on a trip together too and then you're like yeah I, you know i love being here but i i i also miss my dogs we are obsessed and attached they like have my heart i don't know it's something about dogs that it's the unconditional love it's the excitement there, it's like a non-judgment zone when you're around them. They will love you whether you shower or not, whether you brush your teeth or not, whether you, you know, they... Hmm, that felt like a personal attack, <laughs> the showering one. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, because you shower. I do. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, anyways, um, they love you no matter what. And I think that's something that you can't recreate with another human being. And they won't like talk, talk back or give you <laughs> no. human attitude. No. Dog attitude, I think it's kind of cute. Yeah, it, it's funny. It just yeah. makes me laugh. Yeah. Yeah. So Aww. they make me laugh every single day. So it seemed like how could you be blacked out when you also got a new puppy? Yeah, they're, it's like a coping mechanism, <laughs> you know, like when you want to distract yourself with extra okay. work. Okay. Yeah, so that I, makes sense. I have a pattern of putting more on my plate when yes. I don't want to deal with hard feelings mm -hmm. and becoming responsible for a second dog became that new work, work mm -hmm. that I had to do. Yeah, but I didn't see it that way. So did Louis replace voice hugs for a season? No, <laughs> no, he was helping me work up towards, to, yes. yeah, work yes. towards this new version of myself. So thank you, Louie. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, puppy. Speaking of new season, season, season two, two of Voice Hugs. Yay. So for the most part, things are going to stay the same. Mm -hmm. Like we'll still have our dual episodes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I think that's like the bread and butter of voice hugs yes. so far. And we will also be bringing on guests as we've talked about in season 1.5. Yes. That's just happening. We have recorded one episode already. Yes. With a very, very special, sweet, sweet, sweet guest. You'll hear from her next week. Yes. And then we're recording another episode this afternoon. The ball is rolling. It's rolling. We it's, can't get off now. We can't. It's, it's just, it's, it's going to keep going. <laughs> this is good news, though. Yes. We needed the ball to roll. Yes. yes. And then the last surprise, not surprise, but something we want to test is solo episodes. Yeah. So we have the duo, we have the guest interview, and then we wanted to see what solo episodes would look like for both of us. And it also helps us give more time and planning because these can be kind of set aside individually. And so 
we will be doing one solo episode each month. The first month will be me, and then the second month will be Ro, and then we'll kind of swap off each month for the season. And what can we expect for these solo episodes? Mm, what can we expect? <laughs> I think you can think of it more of, so it'll be more of like an audio essay on a specific topic that we're going through. Yeah, relevant to us during yeah. that time. Yeah. Maybe reflections, things that have come up. Story time. Well, story story time. time. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. I feel like a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> and Dan. Dun, 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 dun. The most exciting announcement. The Voice Hug Shop. The Voice Hug Shop. Yay. Are we ready? Are we ready to announce? So we teased this back in season 1.5, but it was very, not mysterious. It was mm -hmm. very at, like abstract. We didn't give too much information away, even though at that time we already knew what we were going to make. And we didn't have the physical product yet. Do we have samples? Not even. Okay. So we didn't have anything <laughs> all seven months heads. ago. <laughs> yes. So what we've been working on for the past seven months, aside from working on ourselves and being lost and blacking out <laughs> is... The first thing that we're going to launch. Yes. Should we just say it? Yes. Should we just show it? <laughs> yes. You may want to turn on video. Ready? For Three, two, one. <laughs> greeting cards. So there are five greeting cards in this launch. The collection is called For All Seasons because you can essentially send these greeting cards any time of the year. So for example, there's one that's like more of a fill in the blank, dearest Viv, thank you for lighting up my life. Aww. I love the way you are always there for me. Aww. You are one of a kind, <laughs> love always, Rose. So that is, that is the first card. Wow, look at the smile hey. on my face. <laughs> And this is really cool because when we're dreaming up of like the different varieties that we could be creating, this is actually like a, you know how most cards, the card is inside, mm. like to write it's inside, but this you can write on the outside of the card. Mm -hmm. And that is very cool. Mm -hmm. So this is more of like a words of affirmation type. It's like, especially, you know, sometimes like when you get a card, you're just like, what do I do to... Like, how do I fill it up? Because I'm also not the type of person that if I have a full card, I'm going to fill all the white space yeah. i just got a card from my cousin and then it was like half just like this <gasps> oh this God, much of a page me. <laughs> and i'm just like i don't like i actually respect that mm. <laughs> as in i wish i could do that but i can't so anyway i think for people who like overanalyze and are anxious and just think too much this first card is like it just it's did you see how big Viv was smiling? <laughs> Do you want your friends to smile like that? So that's the first card. This is, I think, through the season of just love. love no, it's like word, love. Word, words, words of, affirma of affirmation. Yeah, words of affirmation. Um, that's more like universal or um, what is it? Evergreen. Love it. All right. The second card, it is a little reminder that... You totally got this. I'm rooting for you always, and I'm so proud of you. This one, I mean, all of them remind me of voice hugs, but this one especially reminds yeah. me of voice hugs because I feel like part of what we wanted to do is create this supportive, warm space. And sometimes we all just need a little reminder, whether it's from ourselves or from our besties, that we got this. You know, someone's proud of you and someone's rooting for you. And so this one is a sweet little card where you can send to your friends when you want to remind them how awesome they are yeah. and how you're there for them. It's like a pick-me-up. Mm -hmm. It's like in a season of a friend being lost or of a, season, a oh, season of a friend being blacked out. out. <laughs> yes. Wow, if only I received this card. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to send you this card tomorrow. Okay, me too. <laughs> Amazing. All right. The next card is... Sending you big, big hugs. Aww. I feel like this one is a, like the chiller sibling of the a little reminder. This is just big, big hugs. Whether it's, I mean, I don't, it could go through. This one for, could be for yeah, anything. It could be for anything. Yeah. It could be just, I love you. It could be Valentine's. It could be condolences. Mm -hmm. It can be 
anything. It's just, it's very simple. Two hearts leaning. On, I actually love that they're leaning on each other. Yeah. And that they're kind of moving. Yeah. They're visually, just like snuggling. Visually, this one feels very much like a voice hug hug. Yeah. And so it's a way to send a written hug to someone. Yes. Amazing. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, the next one I is... this is my favorite one. <laughs> this one is my personal favorite as well. It was the first one that we locked down and finalized. The moment we saw this with our graphic designer, yes. we were like, yes, this is... Dre, you are a wizard. Yes, this is what we based every other card off of. So this one is a thank you card. On the left-hand side, it says, I am grateful for you. And this is, you know, thank you cards are just... We should always be saying thank you. Yeah. There's so much that we can be grateful for, right? Especially when it comes to our friends. And so this serves as a little reminder to share that gratitude with your friends and then for them to receive it as well from you. Thanksgiving, any season. Any season. Evergreen. Summer. Yeah. <laughs> Winter. So if you see our logo, you'll actually see that the I and the U is also... Outlined. Outlined versus the other letters. They're all filled in with a color. And then for the logo specifically, we wanted the U to be before I because we want you all to be before us. And then for the similar I am grateful for you, we use the same outline for I and you. So that's just a little, like a little wink to- To the Voice know. Hugs logo and yeah. brand. Yeah, it's so cute. So, so, so cute. Love and then it. all the colors that we used for the smileys are colors from our logo as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to pick favorites, but yeah, that probably is my favorite. <laughs> and the very last one, we just wanted a happy birthday, bestie. Yes, this one is just a very simple birthday card. I feel like we use birthday cards the most all yeah. year round. And so this one will just be a very simple wishing someone a happy birthday. Um, also voice hugs colors and yeah we we added the bestie there i think something that we also wanted to do was when we were thinking about how to create a product or something to launch we wanted it to feel like we were giving a hug to our listeners and so when we came up with this collection every single card is as if we're giving it to a bestie um so these are this is our way also of letting you guys know that we are grateful for you we're sending you big big hugs we're so proud of you we're rooting for you you've got this all of the cards it's really a message of the voice hug brand um to share our gratitude towards you guys yeah so it's like a, you can get these cards and keep it for yourself and pin them on your wall or you can get these cards and give it to others you can do whatever you want with mm -hmm. it and i think both viv and i we tried really hard to I don't know, like we just didn't want to create something just to create something. And I feel like greeting cards is low key so on brand. When Viv, Viv actually came up with this idea, when she said it, I was like, yes. Yeah. This is it. I don't know, like my brain is more just like YouTube and seeing what other people have done. It's like everyone does merch, everyone does sweaters and hoodies and hats. And I'm like, sure, we can do that. But like it's not adding much to the world in the way that my brain thinks i'm sure it's adding a lot i'm sure it's cute i'm sure it can be comfortable and we probably will we come might up, still do that I know, we probably will come up with sweaters and hats at some point but i think it's more like this being the first thing that we're launching like i personally gravitate more towards functional things that are beautiful that also can just like give you a little boost of serotonin and like just remind you that you're awesome and you're doing great. Yeah. And it's not just you. It's you and a friend. So yeah. it's like we're reaching more than just, you know, we're like spreading the love. Yeah. Like spreading. And it's support. like the community aspect of mm -hmm. spreading love beyond also just the Voice Hugs community. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. Yay. So those are the cards. Those are the cards. You can find them. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh <laughs> okay we're laughing because the website is not as done right yet, as of right now yeah, but, but we're by hoping the time this launches <laughs> the website will be done if it's not you can sign up for email but it will be up very soon yes www.voicehugspodcast.com yeah. is where you can find all the products so we just basically changed the landing page we had before for our podcast that didn't have much other than the email capture yes to our shopify yes 
So yeah, we took some cute pictures. We'll pop some up on the screen. We can't wait for you guys to experience our first IRL goodies. For all seasons collection. For all seasons. Amazing. We're so happy to be back. So looking forward to season two. I'm just so happy to be here with you two in person. It's so different and so exciting and fun. Oh, and yeah. yeah. So we're really excited. We hope you're excited. Sorry for being MIA. We hope that you guys are doing well. We know life is life in and will continue life in. If you're lost or black and out right now message us we we're can we're with you yeah we can connect <laughs> yes yeah, and if you're not we can still connect we can still connect <laughs> And yes, you can find us at hello at voice voice hello at voicehugspodcast.com or DM us at voicehugspodcast. We're, we're our Instagram is still there. It's still there. We haven't been. It seems like we're not active, but we're yes. still there. Yes. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Love you guys. Love, love, love. Sending you voice hugs.